the Sixth Symphony of Beethoven is one of the first pieces I remember hearing just for pleasure before I actually started practicing piano and, so, and all of this. I think the first time I must have heard the piece was in the movie Fantasia, mm -hmm. like many people did. And of course for the images and the, the storyline of the movie I fell in love with it even more. But then of course you grow up and you conduct orchestras and you start reading about the piece, about Beethoven and, uh, and really digging into the score and you discover so much more than this beautiful imagination, imaginative stories that you can tell yourself when you hear the, the, the music. According to his words, and I think it's, it's very convincing when you hear it, it's not really supposed to be an imitation of the nature. But what's very interesting about the piece is the human reaction the human feeling, the human emotion when he enters the nature. This is a very interesting idea, very romantic idea, if you want. For example, in the second movement, at the end, you do hear imitation of a quail, a cuckoo, and so on. But what you, you hear right afterwards is Beethoven's reaction to it, you know, the, how, how wonderful it is. When I have a brand new piece like this Palenicek, uh, the piano concerto we're about to do. Um, I try, of course, to hear recordings. It, it's never really a, a bad thing to start with, just to get to know the language, the harmony, the sound, have a general idea of what, what this music is about. But at the end, one should not be too attached to a certain recording, because what happens, and this is true for every music you study, what happens is you study the recording rather than the piece, the music itself. You already study an interpretation of someone else and you don't really develop your own approach, your own language and your own understanding of the form, of the sound and so on. One should not ignore what has done before, uh, but also not to be too attached to it. From the very beginning there were pieces I wanted to do, but I thought, you know, like the Tchaikovsky Pathetique. But how can you do this piece in my age? Everything is, is great, my life is wonderful. I need to, to suffer for this piece. I need to... I, all these sorts of thinking, of, of, of thoughts, uh, which may, might be true, but at the end there are, there are a couple of things that, that one should think about. For example, there are pieces, there are composers which wrote my age. And Mahler wrote his first symphony when he was my age. Therefore, there is no reason why I shouldn't have a, a good uh, connection with this music. I don't compare myself to him, I don't compare myself to Beethoven or any of these people, but in terms of age and what you experience in a until a certain age, I think you can definitely make a certain relation. <laughs>